Hello and happy Monday, everybody. I've had a very trying morning. <laughs> um, but I am, well, okay, so I'm com like completely disorganized and whatever. Um, and I didn't get something out. I mean, you'll see it sort of, but you won't see it separate, so. Okay. So, um, for the, I got my Lether Collection box, and I decided not to make the wristers, um, but I did decide to make, um, the mug cozy, or the co the coffee cup cozy, but I don't have it on a coffee cup because I don't drink coffee. I drink tea, but I drink cold tea, not hot tea, usually. Um, I very, very, extremely rarely drink hot tea. Unless I have, like, a sore throat or something. So, I usually drink cold tea. Um, this is flavored water, not cold tea. But, I put it on my... I did not adjust anything. Use the same hook size, use same stitch count, the work. But this is on my Mickey mug that I got from Disneyland uh, five years ago. So I put it on there. Decided to use that. So that is one thing that I got done this week. Um, I've just kind of been slowly um, crocheting. I, I've been more in the mood, well, not necessarily in the mood, more like forcing myself to not necessarily crochet. Oh, you can see the turtle head. <laughs> see that pink? Uh, let's see if I can point right. See that right there? That's the little unicorn turtle head. I mean, it's a full body unicorn. I mean, a full body turtle with a unicorn horn. And a mane. Um, I did post pictures in Granny D's um, Squirrel Squad Facebook page of that one, the Spider tur Spider Man turtle, and the regular turtle, all made from the same pattern. The pattern is by Accessorize This Designs. It is on Ravelry. I can't remember if she also has an Etsy. I got the pattern off of Ravelry though. I think she probably does have an Etsy. Not positive. I will link the Ravelry, excuse me, I will link her Ravelry link below to the store, not to the turtle. Um, she mostly does Amigurumi, but she also does Loveys, and her Loveys are so stinking cute. Um, I, I think one might have been in like a far earlier video. I gave it um, to my physical therapist. Him and his wife were having their their first baby, and um, I made a little cat lovey out of the velvet Bernat um, Bernat baby velvet. And so I I got that done and gave it to them for the baby, um, but. The loveys are so stinking cute, and she's also come out with mini lovey, excuse me, mini loveys, which I have don't have very many of her patterns. I got a three pattern collection. It's not that I don't like p the pattern; I've just been doing other things. So, um, I decided since the yarn. Getting back on topic. <laughs> I just didn't realize that you could see the turtle, the turtle unicorn right, right there. Um, the uni turtle. <laughs> um, back on topic. So since the Lether Collection um, yarn is called, is called Turtle Bay, I thought I would make a turtle using that yarn. Now the the turtle body's not going to be used in that yarn. However, just a minute. OK, 
Okay, I'm back. So, the, the yarn from this month's Letha collection is called Turtle Bay. I love turtles. <laughs> I haven't made that many. I surprised a whole lot of people when I haven't made that many turtles, but seriously, I haven't made a whole lot of turtles. I, I've made five. Like I said previously, I made two little ninja turtles, tiny ninja turtles, and then I made the big, like that one that's right there. Okay, so, but she doesn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> So I used, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make some of these. Now this is a pattern and I will link the link, or I will put the link below. Um, this is a tutorial. It used to be a pattern. Now if you click on the link for the pattern, it will take you to a different bag. But this was, wow, that does look really, really super weird. So this, um... Mikey from Crochet Crowd did the tutorial on this. Um, it's a starfish. It's it's a starfish bag. So you make the hexagons to make the bag. Takes me, I would say, close to two hours to make one hexagon. Um. So this is what the bag looks like. It's all cotton, and yeah, I've got some hangies hanging out. Now, this is not exactly made to pattern, and I'll tell you why, or I'll tell you how, um, just because I wanted it bigger is why. But, um, so it says to make it, and the bottom is supposed to not be, you're supposed to join this hexagon here and these hexagons together so it doesn't have a flat bottom like this. Now this has a flat bottom. Now this, I'm sure you can probably tell it's dirty. <laughs> um, I take a shopping cart out when I go shopping. And a lot of times I put this on the back of the shopping cart because it gives me a little bit more room. Um, if I have a jacket on, I can put my jacket in the bag when I don't need it. If uh, if I have a soda pop, soda, whatever, I could put it in this bag and it's not going to like, along with a few other things, and it's not going to like fall over and spill everywhere and I don't have to have it in my hand. But primarily we use this as a swim bag. So like I said, it's all the, it's um, a mixture of sugar and cream. This is cotton that I already had on hand. I did not buy any of this special. I already had it on hand. This is what I used for this bag. Now I have made two other bags that I don't have. I'm, I made one for my best friend in Nebraska for her to use as a swim bag. I don't know if she still uses it as a swim bag, or if she even still has it, or if her kids stole it and use it for playing dolls. I have no idea. Um, and when I tried to make the bags like it, they're supposed to be made, I wasn't satisfied. So the pattern, um, excuse me. So then the second one went to Florida. Um, my niece lived in Florida for a while. Um, her boyfriend was stationed in Florida, and so they've since moved back to Arizona, but um, they were stationed in Florida, and when they had to leave for Hurricane Michael, I don't know that the bag went with them, but when they came back, they had not a whole lot. Um... I know she said that she didn't have anything that I crocheted her girls. And so, and I crocheted quite a bit for her girls. So, um, so she had, I had made her a bag and I had made my friend a bag. Um, but I, I really like mine. Now it says to use, let's see, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. It says to use just ten make just ten hexagons. I made twelve. So I have two rows of five and then the two on the bottom to make it twelve. Now um I kind of don't like how this looks now that I now that I look at it through the camera. Um Now that I look at it through the camera, I don't like how this ends up looking. Like there's a whole lot of blue on the outside, but it's just some of that blue is just not positioned well or whatever. I just uh. So I decided to make, I'm going to make a turtle, but I'm not going to make a huge, gigantic turtle. It's going to be as big as it's going to be, which is bigger than what I want it. But I used the same crochet hook, the, the B crochet hook 2.25. And this is my, these are my starfish. Now this is like a, it, the color doesn't, the color actually comes out bluer on the camera or what I'm seeing in the camera is bluer. But I'm going to sew these together. So there's going to be a middle one and then there's going to be six all the way around it. And I'm going to put some backing on it. And I'm going to also, I'm going to sew it together this way and this way so it curves here and then here so it gives it a little bit of a curve and make a turtle or that's that's my that's my thoughts now did I block these not really <laughs> I'm not gonna call it blocking because it's not true blocking uh, what I did do was I I got it wet with this stuff this best press doesn't really smell peachy like it should uh, but I I got it I got it with wet with the best press and then I ironed it to make it more flat so I'm working on another one and I need to make seven of them so here's my next one that I'm working on Now, I don't know if I can share the pattern, and I'll tell you why. For some reason, Yarnspirations got rid of the pattern. I don't know for sure, for positive, that Mike, that Mike, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd got rid of the tutorial. I think the tutorial, the last time I looked, which was a few months ago, when I was looking for the pattern because I I couldn't find my printout so I went looking for the pattern and went to the tutorial clicked on the pattern and it sent me somewhere else I believe the pattern is posted I I'm not positive I think it is posted the pictures posted in Ravelry but again when you click the link, it doesn't take you to the right pattern. It takes you to a different beach bag pattern. So, I have the pattern. I have a printout. And I also have it saved on my SD card. So I will not ever, 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 ever. And actually, I think I might also save it on my Google Drive. So I never lose the pattern because I don't want to lose the pattern. I really like that pattern. I like that bag. Um, and I would, I would probably would make more if somebody wanted one and paid for it. Um, so that's, that's kind of what some of the things that I've been doing. Um, Another thing that I've been working on 
Uh, and whoever is in the Reborn community that watches my videos. <laughs> okay. So, this little girl came home to me this week. She came home to me this week. But she is so little bitty. And honestly, you know, I heard she's, what, 17 or 18 inches. I can't, I don't even remember. <laughs> Funny thing, I'm not a tiny baby fan. Um, I used to be a tiny baby fan, but my real children were more than 10 pounds. And they were 21 and 22 inches long. And so, me and tiny babies, I... I, I even have trouble holding real tiny babies. Just because. They're so tiny. And I didn't have, I didn't used to have trouble. I didn't used to mind it, but... Um, that's not why we're actually here. So this is the Tink Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, painted by uh, Precious Blessings Reborn Nursery. And we're not really here to show her off either, but she is modeling some shoes. So, these are tiny Tink shoes. And they are tiny. Now, for those that crochet, the pattern for the tiny tink shoes is on YouTube. That you can copy and paste, watch the tutorial. There are errors. Not going to say what the errors are. In fact, I don't even think that I'm going to link it below. Selfish? Hmm, sure. But yeah, I'm sure, you know, you can type in Converse. Um, and you'll be able to find it. I mean, there's hundreds of Converse. But one uh, person in particular has a tutorial on petite converse. Those are not petite converse. They use the same pattern, but a different hook size. So, I know somebody who has a reborn, or who, well, yeah, she has a reborn. She has lots of reborns. <laughs> um, but, she has a tiny tink, and I decided to make her tiny tink some shoes. I'm not going to say who it is, and this is going to be happy mail. She didn't ask me to do it. She, in fact, she didn't even know that I was doing it until I outed myself, which I always do, because... I hate keeping secrets, especially when I'm working on a project. Do you even know how hard it is <laughs> to not post pictures of something? I see, when I look through my Facebook feed, and I, I scroll through the cr different crochet book, not books, crochet groups that I have on my Facebook feed, I'm like, you know, because people post a picture and they're like, and the group is closed, so their friends and family aren't on it. And they're like, I have to post it here because I can't post it on my main page because it's for my sister or it's for my son or daughter-in-law or grandchild or aunt, uncle, grandparent, mom, dad, you name it, whatever. I can't not post pictures. The only pictures that I didn't post were of the shawl that I made, the shawls that I made. I was itching to post pictures of those things before I even sent them. I wanted to post them so bad. 
but I didn't. I hate not posting pictures. So anyway, this is the soul of one shoe. So this is the this is the inner soul. And this is the outer soul of the shoe. And I still have to do the sides and the tongue and all that. So this is the second shoe. Actually, this is the first shoe. So this shoe starts out with red, goes to orange and yellow. And yeah, that green's not perfect, but whatever. Green and blue. And the sole of the shoe and the tongue of the shoe will be purple on this one. Now this one, the sole of the shoe and the tongue of the shoe will be red and it will start with purple. It will be purple and blue and green. Purple, blue, green, yellow, and yeah, purple, green, purple, blue, green, yellow, and orange with the sole and the tongue being red on this one and the sole and the tongue being purple on this one and it'll probably have um, white laces but again these are tiny tink shoes so goals well number one goal is to get that finished I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving have a good week happy yarning